Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to explain more about the ClipChamp uh, app that is rolling out to the Microsoft 365. Now we can reach it by uh, going to the nine dots and we can search for the app here. If we don't see it, we can look for all of the apps here and uh, we can search for it. If we don't see it, we can actually uh, look for ClipChamp, and this will bring us to the uh, homepage of ClipChamp. Now we can click on blank, and it will refer us to the app, and we can do all of the things that we knew. Now, the second way to reach it is actually through the SharePoint. So if I go back, choose the nine dots and choose SharePoint. Now I can choose, for instance, the site, and I will go to a document library and under the new, I will have now uh, the ClipChamp uh, type of uh, file. So if I click on it, it will open it and then we can do all of the, what we know to do. Now in this video, I want to specify exactly where does it store all of the information. So if we create, uh, the clip chan uh, through the app, then actually it will store all of the recordings in the OneDrive. Now, not only in the OneDrive, we will see exactly which folders does it create. So in this point, I can give it a name. Let's call it AMI Video, video AMI. And you see automatically it's creating a video uh, folder. So um, now I can choose to record a video or uh, a web or screen, or and also I can upload if I have from my OneDrive or for my local files. So let's say I'll uh, upload this video and add it to the timeline. And I'll also add a video with the audio. Now there's a fun, functionality that actually, if you take a video, you can go and detach the audio. So it will separate the video with the voice. Sometimes you don't want to hear the voice, only the video. But let's see what happens now. Now, if I go here under media, I'll see all media uploads. So if I click on open asset folder, currently it's not showing anything, but I will just refresh it and uh, let's try again. Sometimes it takes time until it's uh, set up. So now if I go here, all media, it will now take me to the, my, my OneDrive account. And you see under my files, I have a video. And under the video, we have a click stamp. And then it creates a folder for each project of this um, Eclipse. So the name of what I uh, chose was Video Army. Now it automatically creates also a folder of assets where it's all of the things that I have uploaded and let export if I exported the video. So let's see what's in the asset. We have the audio file and the video I have uploaded. If I go back and I will choose actually to again, and I will choose the export. Here we are. Then I can choose if to save it on the cloud or to store it in the export uh, channel or folder. And of course, I can change the location. I can choose the quality. I can choose the name of the file. Let's say I'll just uh, export. Let's wait that it's downloading. And then we will see that actually it's now stored within the ClipCamp folder. We will see um, under export the file that was uploaded. And we also have the ClipCamp uh, file where we can do some changes. So this is 
how it is if we open it through the app. And this is in the personal one. Uh, the same thing we can do as we saw through the SharePoint. And when we do that, what will happen is it will create a name of a folder inside. Also, yes, we are in SharePoint. An asset and export and a clip jump uh, file. So let's just uh, demonstrate it. I'll go to new, choose clip, clip jump, and I will, as I did before, choose to upload some files. This is one file, this is the other. And now if I need to wait that everything has, has been uploaded, I click open asset folder. You'll see these two videos. So what we have here is actually the default uh, video project. I could rename it and it will be the name that I did. Within it, an asset with all of the videos that I've uploaded, export if I export it, and the video clip jump uh, file. So uh, this is what I wanted to show you when it rolls out to your um, tenant. Test it and uh, let me know what you can do. Now, just notice that when I go to the clip jump, it's not possible automatically to choose from SharePoint uh, uh, and choose a video only from OneDrive. Maybe in future it will be possible. But if I choose from OneDrive, actually maybe from here, Okay, from here I can choose either from my OneDrive or from uh, some uh, SharePoint sites. So if I go, for instance, to this SharePoint site and I choose this video, probably it will add it. So this is, I learned something new just do, while doing the video. So we can access the video, but it does not do that. Uh, yeah, it takes time to understand that. So thank you very much and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.